Hello Leos. So this reading is going to be what positive things is coming your way. Um, I'm just going to pull some cards first to see what are things that you need to do, um, things that you need to release so you can allow these blessings to come in. So let's see what's going on. All right. So universe, give me a two card spread. What does Leos need to do or release so they can allow more blessings in their life okay so abundance and relationship jenna energy is success okay so i got multiple messages here so this is more still talking about doing rather than releasing um the universe wants you to kind of probably change your paradigm the way that you think okay so you feel like changing like the way that you think about relationships in a positive way though changing the way that you think about success in a positive way too okay so probably um it could be like you thinking about success in a more physical way rather than on an emotional way okay um this can also um this could be about change the way that you think like any if you have any form of negative um belief system removing that okay well that's a little bit of the release okay um now what else I'm getting from this is you guys probably need to, when it comes to relationship, all type of relationship, the universe wants you to expand more. Abundance is all about, you know, a, like having a lot, right? So I'm thinking about expansion. So probably the universe wants you to expand your network, okay? Um, be aligned to great friendships, having more great friends around you. This is also about, you know, being open to being in a successful relationship. OK, not thinking that all relationships is going to have the same outcome. No. OK, so let's see what else I'm getting for you guys. All right. So universe, give me a four card spread. What positive things is coming towards Leo? Universe, give me a four card spread. The positive things come towards Leo. Stay focused on why you started. Okay, the moon, ace of cups, judgment, have no fear, and the sun. Universe, give me two more cards. Gemini, don't spend too much time in consultation for just favorite action. Okay, and just be alone for now, develop your crowd. So let's start with these two position here i want to start with this second position first so i feel like with the ace of cups and judgment i feel like there is going to be renewal something's coming back and this this is necessarily needs to be a person i feel like this is more so an opportunity so if you feel like you miss opportunity you're going to get another opportunity that is going to be even better okay and the universe don't want you to be fearful the universe don't want you to procrastinate Universe wants you to know that this is actually aligned to you. You got the sun here. This is your energy. Okay. And we also got the moon. Okay. So this is going to be something that is going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. Okay. So this opportunity is coming back around. Then remember what you started. Stay focused. Here is trying to stay clear yourself from any distraction. So you can um, get like, so you can receive this opportunity. Okay. Um, that's what I'm saying. And it came out first. So that's a good card to come out first because it's trying to say just get aligned, get focused, remove any distraction out of your life, and you are going to get some form of renewal of opportunity, okay? Third position, don't spend too much time in consultation, um, fortune favors. Um, consultation, fortune favors action, okay? So again, this is about not procrastinating, being an action mode. Some of you guys are a little bit fearful, okay? You might be fearful like, what if you don't get it? What if something bad happened? The universe wants you to clear your energy from that. Okay. And then you got Gemini. So I feel like with the Gemini, this kind of reminds me of the page of swords or pages, pages all about messages. So that I feel like we're trying to say what is going to come about. This is a good news is coming your way. There's going to be an opportunity. You most likely going to get it. And that's going to be good news for you. Okay. Um, then it is just be alone for now and develop your craft. So here, I feel like you guys are just not going to be in a spirit of procrastination anymore or the spirit of being fearful. You're going to be really in your Leo energy, like straight up go-getter. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So that's the positive thing that's coming in your way. 
Now, when it comes to love, it could be you believing in love again too. So let's just say you did you for like you just didn't believe in love that you're gonna have that feeling of believing in love and you are gonna be meeting someone new. Um, this is someone who have a lot to teach you. I feel like that with that judgment, um, and then moon and sun, like you guys are going to be kind of like, um, it's going to feel like a soulmate type of connection. Okay. That's what I'm seeing with that sun and moon. So let's see what else I'm getting. So universe, give me a three part spread. What positive things are coming towards Leo? So there is courtship, there, there is wealthy man. So here's talking about love. Universe, give me one more card. A mature man. Yeah, like because I feel like this is someone who's very wise. Because I feel like they're gonna be teaching you. But let's just say in relationship, you usually teach people, okay? You usually teach your significant others of something, of some wisdom. I feel like your next significant connection, this person's going to be kind of like your teacher, but in a positive way. <laughs> Jenna Energy's journey. So this person um, could be, hmm, this person is probably relocated to your area. You probably relocated to that area. Okay, there is some traveling. Um, you guys could met through traveling as well too. Um, but yeah, this is someone who is wise. Um, they could be very financially well off. Um, Leos are are self starters. We tend to be entrepreneurs. We have our own business, so this is someone who can help you with your business as well. That's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, I feel like I get a serious type of energy. For some of you guys, this person might have their JD. They might be a lawyer, or they might be in politics. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting for you guys. Alright, so universe, what messages does Leo need to know when it comes to this positive things that's coming their way? What messages that Leo need to know when it comes to positive things that's coming their way? Universe, give me one more card. So you guys got big happy changes. Look for a sign, listen to your intuition, and abundance. Look at that. Abundance came out twice. So a lot of expansion. Things are expanding in your life. Okay, positive things. Then we got that big happy changes. Look for a sign. I feel like it's more so is count your blessings. Um, practice gratitude at every moment that you can. Okay. And then I got listen to your intuition. Let's see what it's about. Universe clarify. Listen to your intuition. Wait. The universe wants you to be more cautious as well. You know, as far as signs, sometimes you'd be like, okay, just jump into it. <laughs> okay. I do. Let's jump into it right now. So. You do want to be action oriented, but the universe do want you to be more cautious. Like just like probably learn more, um, or um, if this is not regarding a goal, um, it's uh, the relationship. The universe just wants you to be more patient. Okay, um, don't jump into stuff right away. Okay, so let's see what else I'm getting for you guys. Okay, so universe, we have two cards, but I don't suggest you have for Leo. Okay, the power of self-talk. Universe, give me one more card. So again, the universe do want you to only affirm positive things in your life and positivity onto you, okay? Don't speak anything that's negative. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. And my creative power, okay? Leo is a very creative sign. So tap into your creativity. It's going to lead to inspiration. It's going to lead to an ideal. And it's going to lead to abundance as well, too. Jenna Energy is from Love Attraction. Um, make sure that you are implementing magic in your life, okay? Some form of magic. It doesn't necessarily need to be like you. Lighting candles. <laughs> but it could just be you just being grateful, um, praying, meditating, um, 
um, using feminine, uh, feminine, using law of attraction. Um, Esther Higgs, she had this book called um, Acts and, it, and It's Given, okay? She channeled the energy of Abraham Higgs, okay? So she had dope law of attraction techniques. Focus Wool is amazing. Um, what else? There's so many different um, techniques. Just see which one resonate with you and implement it, okay? So, Feminine Law of Attraction. I love the creative venture that's my life. I celebrate myself as a, a female creator. And then there is the power of self-talk. When my self-talk is kinder, I'm empowering my capacity to pursue my dreams and believe in myself. And then there is my creative power. As I invest in my own creative potential, I experience my female creative genius. So, some of you guys need to invest more into you. So, that's more of your time. And I feel like this is more with knowledge and learning. And this could also be... Um, investing if you have your own business investing more into your business okay so that's the reading that i have for you leos some of you guys don't connect with such because i want to say that shares for some reason okay but thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfitatero at gmail.com